Well, these have been the bottom two since November, but that all changed in midweek when Forest Green Rovers won back-to-back -back games for the first time this season. The job for Steve Cottrell is far from done, but there's real hope now that the home side can avoid the indignity of back-to-back -back relegations. Sutton United might not be in the last chance saloon just yet, but today is their last chance to claw back some ground on those around them while also damaging a direct rival. A second win of the Steve Morrison desperately needed with his side six points from safety. Well, Southern boss Steve Morrison saying he doesn't want his players complaining about their predicament. Ultimately, he says, we've got a great job. Today, Sutton United need to show something they haven't shown very much on the road so far this season. A little bit of a defensive mix-up. As it's lifted towards the back post, good header. And Coley flips the crossbar. Well, early encouragement for Sutton United. Coley shakes his head. It's a decent delivery from Sanderson. One of the changes this afternoon. Coley almost making it count. Just the one win so far under Steve Morrison. Six draws, six defeats. That's why Sutton United remain bottom for now. They still have hope. As Lakin goes for goal. Well, Reyes was beaten, but not the upright. Well, Sutton United have started this game on the front foot. And within the opening 10 minutes, they've struck the woodwork twice. A few hundred have made the journey from London. And they'll be encouraged by what they've seen so far. This is a meeting of the team with the worst home record and the team with the worst away record in League Two. Kind of explains partially why these two are where they are. That's awkward at the back. And lifted wide. It's just a hopeful ball through for Deutsch to chase. Almost made it work for him. The Forest Green Rovers have looked a lot better under Steve Cotterell. 14 points from his 10 games in charge so far as Amatoy tries to get through here. Oh, and it's so close. And then Omatoy, in a desperate attempt to get the ball back, commits the foul. Well, Forest Green Rovers were nearly level here. Found the gap between the defenders. Omatoy onto it. Beats the goalkeeper, but not the upright. Played in pretty rotten conditions. It might have some reason behind some of the standard football we're seeing as it's lifted into the box. Chest down and just wide. Buterman with the attempt. Just had a little bit of time on the edge of the box to set himself. Couldn't find the target. Long downfield by Arnold then. Cleared by the men in green. Hooks back once more. Jeep McKenna. Thinks about the cross. Moves to Buterman instead. Now gets it back. Nice ball in, Reyes with the touch clear. And Forest Green Rovers just about smuggle it away. And the head tennis continues. Oh, Beatsman thought about the cross, and then Duke McKenna put in a teasing delivery. Reyes getting a palm to it.
just helping it back towards his centre half. It's not much work from Sanderson. It's opening up a little bit here for Sutton United. Coley going for goal! Brilliant finish! Sutton United ahead! And you can't say on the balance of chances in the first half that they haven't deserved it. League Two's bottom side have hope. Best move of the match so far. And Coley, ruthless with the finish. Just his second of the season, but brilliantly taken. Forest Green Rovers got in response. Strong challenge coming in. Referee lets it go. Mamatoy. He's going to have to take this away from goal. Plenty in green waiting in the penalty area. There's no space for the cross. How can they open things up the home side? Well, that's a nice ball through. Strike coming in. Just about cleared, and then the offside flag goes up. Like Deutsch in the middle, out of straight. Well, they eventually worked this really well towards Jamie Robson. Nothing doing. Well, after the win at Bradford in midweek, Steve Cotterell saying his squad are really united now. They're going to need that unity to try and force a way back into the game. So the strike comes in from range. Well, Lakin's already had a shot hit the woodwork. Fancy his luck again. Players down well. Just hasn't been enough going forward from a Forest Green Rovers perspective so far in the game. Maybe they can change that here. And it's put behind for a corner. Perhaps a set piece, the best opportunity for Steve Cotterell's men this afternoon. There's Innes with the header. Straight at Arnold. Well, the centre half. Up for the set piece, got away from his man. Free header. Would have wanted to do better. <laughs> Having to go not long now for his Green Rovers. They're desperately in search of this equaliser. McAllister. And once again, into the grateful clutches of Arnold. The home fans still believe that Forest Green Rovers can get back into this. But they're going to need a little bit more quality. Those Sutton United fans can smell victory. And they've got it. And they move within three points of safety and drag Forest Green Rovers back into the bottom two in the process. Steve Morrison said the visitors had eight cup finals. They've won the first of them. Still a long way to go, particularly with Colchester having multiple games in hand. But the relegation strap has another twist. And Forest Green Rovers will need to dust themselves down again. Josh Coley's fine first half strike kept everything competitive in the fight to avoid the drop.